Good morning, everybody. Day 86. Yesterday I took a zero day and I did absolutely nothing with my phone. Uh, uploaded a video, that's about it. <laughs> and today we're going over the big lows. The big lows. Big low, Avery, little big low. And it looks like <laughs> the weather's questionable. I don't know if we're going to get views or not up there. But tomorrow looks way worse as far as weather-wise. So today's the better weather window to go over the big lows. So I'm taking today and I'm going over the big lows. And then, yeah, I think my next resupply will be Kiritunk. Um, three days or something like that. Two and a half days. <laughs> today, tomorrow, and then half a day, I'll be in Kiritunk, get some resupply, and keep moving north to Munson. Um, yeah, that's the dealio. Um, what else? <laughs> trying to think of something else. I guess that's it. If I think of it, I'll tell you later. Um, but that's the rundown for the day. And I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I'll touch back with the cool stuff and the views, you know, just like I do, baby. So. My fingers are crossed that we're going to get views up here on Bigelow's. Alrighty. Just past Cranberry Stream campsite. I've never camped there. <laughs> and it's just too close to the road. I mean, unless you don't ever go into Stratton or you want to get into Stratton resupply and stay right out of town. Not a bad option. It's a pretty easy trail to there. And then from now up to Horns Pond, we're gonna climb up to Horns Ponds. Leans twos. Yes, there's two lean twos there. Um yeah, and it's a beautiful pond. Like a really beautiful pond. On the top of a mountain again. <laughs> I really hope this cloudy weather blows over. All right, it is sprinkling. <laughs> it's been raining for, I don't know, 45 minutes now. Yeah, it's not really looking too good for the big lows, I'll be honest. Oh, I'm sweaty. Look at this though. Nice. I love areas like this. Just a boggy area. I don't know why I'm wasting my energy going up here. But, usually, from here, wow, it is some thick clouds. <laughs> this is a thick, thick cloud. 
you can't see nothing. So just picture it. You got Horns Pine lean to down there. Over here, you can see the big lows. I can picture it. I know what it looks like, but. And you can't see nothing. Boop. Horns Pond lean to area. So there's another lean to back in here, or maybe two. There might be two more back in there. Here we go. Is a rundown. South Horn, West Peak, Avery Campsite, which is amazing. Avery Peak, even better. <laughs> Flagstaff Road, 11.6, and Long Falls Dam Road, 14.1. Ooh, look at these. How beautiful. They're everywhere. Look. Nice. Look, he's in the center. You know how hard it is to get those on camera. They gotta be covered in dew or the light's gotta be hitting them just right. So that's pretty epic right there. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're still in a cloud and I'm gonna try to get to Long Falls Dam Road today, pass that. But we will see. We got a lot of this is a tough terrain right here. Um, if I can get down to Flagstaff Road, it'd probably be good enough for me. But if I could, look, Pond Loop Trail. But if I could get past Long Falls Dam Road, I know it'd be like a 21 mile day, but it would set me up better for tomorrow. We'll see. We got to get the big lows over with first. Doesn't look like I'm going to be hanging out up there. Especially with this kind of weather. You're not camping in the area between this trail and the pond. No problem. Alrighty. Let's go get up to the big lows. We're close to the top. This one. Side trail to North Horn. <laughs> Pick up your feet, Gray. No, I'm not going over to North Horn. That would be, I would need my mental health checked if I went over there. Because <laughs> there's going to be no views. Ah. <sighs> South Horn. And usually from here, you can usually see it all laid out in front of you. You can see West Bigelow, Avery, Little Bigelow. Yeah, you usually can see it all. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. There's the sun, it needs to really get to work if it's gonna be burning these clouds off. And when I get up to Big Little Peak, well, I think it's West Big Little, hear my pills just rattling around in my backpack. It sounds crazy. Anywho, I'm gonna get up to, I think it's West Big Little. And then I might wait out, wait just a little bit to see if it'll clear out before I get over to Avery. We'll see. Can't wait all day, but I can wait a little bit. All right. Dropped off South Peak. And now we're in this a little tiny little flat area, kind of like this. Until we climb up to 
West Peak. I think we're 1.7 miles away, last time I checked, maybe 1.5 now, from the top of West Peak, which is really beautiful. I mean, you can really look, you can look over and see every peak. And you can look back and see, you know, North and South Peak. <laughs> well, maybe not today, but usually you can. At least it ain't raining. It'd be a lot worse if it was raining. The sun's actually starting to peak out, so. Who knows what's gonna happen? I'm hoping for the best, planning for the worst. You know. <laughs> I need to slow my roll. <sighs> Alpine zone. Sure, top of West Peak, it's right up here. Big little West Peak. That's where we came from. This is where we're going. Look, stranger danger. Stay on trail. So we just left West Peak. Now we're going to drop down to Carlo Cole, or not Carlo Cole, ooh, Big Low Cole um, campsite. And then we'll climb up to the Horn. Not the Horn, <laughs> Avery Peak, jeez. Crazy. All right, looks like it's clearing up at least for a second so we can see Avery Peak. You can see Little Bigelow. Yeah, Flagstaff Lake. These flies are crazy. Tent platform, I've actually stayed on that a couple times. Twice, I do believe. And there's more campsites down here. This is Big Low Coal campsite. It's like right between Big Low West Peak and Avery Peak, right in that gully. Uh, so yeah, now we're, I don't know, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 away from 
Avery Peak and when I was coming down West Big Lows, it looked like it cleared off over there. So if the clouds don't blow in by the time we get over there, we should have views and we'll be able to look back at everything we came for, came from and actually see it all. But we gotta get the clouds out of there. All right, we're almost to the top of Avery Peak. Check this out. Kiribati Valley. West Bigelow, that's where we were just at. Flagstaff Lake. Alpine Zone. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. And look, Avery Peak. So we got on top of there. We'll have views off to the north. It's beautiful. That's Bigelow, Flagstaff Lake, it's that little, I don't know, it used to be a tower or something, I'm not sure, uh, this is Sugarloaf, and the Crackers, Spalding, the Crackers, yeah, it's beautiful up here. Avery Peak, baby. All right, now we're gonna be able to see. I'll show you in here too. <laughs> Nothing special. All right, little big lows right here. Looks like the top's cut off of it. Boom. That's where we're heading next. Myron Avery. Yeah, see? A little bit of standard danger everywhere. Amazing. Every picture's right up here. But while we're getting views, I'm gonna show views. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop down here, climb up a little big low, drop down the backside, five stop road, and that's where I'll decide if I'm gonna go to Long Falls Dam Road or not. Hmm. 
and the weather. <laughs> no, I love it. Gorgeous. All right. So we dropped back in trees. And I don't think we'll go above trees again until Katahdin. Oh no, white cap. White top, white cap. Something white. <laughs> and yeah, we got the Avery Peak. Which is perfect, I guess. West Bigelow would have been good to get to, but... You know, you can't get them all. And like I said before, at least it wasn't raining up there. And it cleared up for us for Avery Peak. So we can look back and see West Bigelow. We can look forward and see Little Bigelow. Um, good stuff. And now we're going to work our way down in this gully again. And then climb up to Little Bigelow. There's a little bit of views on Little Bigelow looking back at all this stuff uh, that we just went over. So... Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to put my other hand down, but it's holding the camera. Little Bigelow. Stand all short and stubby proud. Yeah, it's a little side, little spur trail, man. It's really, whoa, it's right off the AT. Right here's the AT. Boom. AT, spur trail. To that little view. Mm. All right, we're still dropping down um, off Avery. And once we get to the bottom there, oh. Slippery roots. It's a pretty neat area. We're almost by a Stafford Brook campsite. Mm. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I like this little area. big that rock is crazy Little bigger though, 30, 40. Now we'll go down to Flagstaff Road. So we're gonna pass a little big little lean to like three miles away or two miles away from, from the road there. And there's water down here too. So I'm gonna get some water. And then I'm gonna go a little past Flagstaff Road, I think, and find a stuff site. We will see. Oh, we got ledges coming up too. Some good views. I'll show you them. All right. Little big low ledges. Sugar loaf. Zoom in. Boop. There's what we just went over. <laughs> Last big little Avery Peak. 
South Peak. Yeah. And now we're up on Little Bigelow ledges. Little Bigelow ledges. I love the Bigelows. Yeah, maybe I should have waited for the 930 shuttle instead of the 730 shuttle. That would have gave the clouds time to burn off and I would have got all these views. But it really would have put me in a pinch for the Kennebec Ferry. So, yeah. Little big little ledges. Now we got three miles down. Walking rock slabs down. It's a beautiful little part though. I like this part. Pretty soon we're gonna drift drop in the trees and then boop, we'll be at Flagstaff Road. Almost down to the road. If I had to guess, less than a mile. You know where these are located. Right by roads. <laughs> this is East Flagstaff Road. Um, I'm very familiar with this road. I've actually had the pleasure of sitting around with uh, Stops, Steve Lombard, and Mountain Lifer right up here in this parking lot. I'm going to sit there all day with them while they did trail magic. It's pretty awesome. So, yeah, we're going to keep moving on. Flagstaff campsite, and then we'll see if we're going to go any further than that. Who knows? This is heavy duty right here. I like it. Yeah, Flagstaff campsite. It's like two more miles. So my dilemma is <laughs> the ferry, the Kennebec ferry stops running at two o'clock in the afternoon. And as of where I sit right now, I'm 20 miles away. Um, so in order to make that by two o'clock, I would have to get up super early and move. Uh, so I think I'm going to do at least two Flagstaff campsite and knock it down to like 18. I might even go a little further. Get it down even more. I'm not sure what I'm doing. That's a cool little bridge. Quiet out in here. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Oh, and did I mention we were out of southern Maine? <laughs> the toughest part of Maine is behind me. It gets pretty chill all the way to Munson, and then the first half of Hunters is a little hilly. And after that, it's. Whew. So, yeah, we're out of southern Maine. After you leave the Big Lows, Flagstaff, East Flagstaff Road, that's where I consider you're out of Southern Maine. Look at this craziness. Those pine tree limbs are so stiff. <laughs> All right, I'm rambling. Looks like it might be a long video today. Whatever.
Well, well, well. Isn't this beautiful? Times I wish I had a tent. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It would be nice to camp there, but not with a storm coming in tonight. That's Flagstaff Lake, everybody. That's a big, massive, it's massive. <laughs> Flagstaff Lake campsite. There's even a privy. Hmm. I'm probably gonna kick myself in the rear end for not staying here. <laughs> but, like I said, I wanna catch that ferry tomorrow. I'll be there by two o'clock, so the more miles I do today, the less miles I have to do tomorrow in the rain trying to rush to a ferry <laughs> toilet okay so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and do another four more miles i'm almost to long falls damn road <laughs> thought a bug just hit me and uh so i'm gonna go cross long falls damn road up down west curry pond lean to area it's kind of like where i'm aiming for now that'll leave me 13 miles tomorrow to get to the kennebec river which is totally doable because i'm getting the two little small climbs out of the way this one i just got done with and then one more climb up and then drop down to west curry pond and then the rest of the way to the kennebec is just All right, less than a mile from West Curry Pond, leading to area, and if I find something, nice little stealth site in between here and there, I'm probably just gonna snag it up. But if, if I don't, I guess I'll see you guys at the shelter area. West Curry Pond, everybody. What's happening, everybody? End of the day recap, day 86. We left main route 27 at 2006.1. We're now sitting at West Curry Pond lean-to area. 2029.1 makes it a 23-mile day, everybody. And today started out cloudy, cleared up for Avery Peak, which, which more can you ask for? And then I just wanted to push, get me a little closer to Kennebec River. So I should have no problem catching the ferry by 2 p.m. tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, that's a dealio. Video is super long, so I'm going to end it right here. Day 86, 23 miles. And I hope you guys had a great, great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby. Ooh. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs>